Number 5. 1961 Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. As struck with glowing medium orange mint color to fully impressed, sharply cameoed surfaces. This dazzling ultra gem is a surprise condition rarity from a mintage of 3,028,244 pieces. PCGS reports just 10 specimens in this lofty graded with none finer. It was sold for $6,600. Number 4. 1961 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1961 D. Quarter dollar mintage approached 84 million pieces, making it easily available through gem condition. The certified population drops significantly in premium gem than again in MS67. Reddish gold, crimson, and forest green toning adheres to the left margins on both sides, being much deeper on the reverse. The design elements are sharply struck and pleasing luster radiates from each side. Impeccable preservation adds to this piece having great eye appeal, recognized by CAC. It was sold for $8,225. Number 3. 1961 Franklin Half Dollar with Double Die Reverse. Graded as PR67 by PCGS. Cherry Pickers lists three different double die reverse varieties of 1961 halves, but FS801 is by far the most prominent and is the variety listed in the guide book. Peripheral letters are very thick and show obvious doubling but the pickup point is E Pluribus Unum, which is widely dyed doubled north. Immaculate and fully struck with golden brown toning at the margins. It was sold for $8,812.50. Number 2. 1961 Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 66 Full Steps by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a find for the advanced Jefferson Nickel enthusiast, this gorgeous upper-end gem is essentially brilliant with intense satin white luster virtually blemish-free with an impressively sharp strike that sets this coin apart from the vast majority of circulation strike 1961 nickels produced. It ended up selling for $10,800. Number 1. 1961 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. Undoubtedly from an original mint set, this originally and attractively toned Washington Quarter displays the most vivid shades of emerald, orange and gold, particularly on the obverse. The surfaces are delightfully smooth and the luster is nothing short of intense. Although available in an absolute sense, late-date 90% silver Washington Quarter issues such as the 1961D are surprisingly rare in the finest mint state grades. It ended up selling for $24,000. And there you have it, folks. The fascinating journey through the valuable coins of 1965 comes to an end. Who would have thought that seemingly ordinary coins could hide such extraordinary value? If you enjoyed this numismatic adventure, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more intriguing coin stories, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. See you later.